Okay. Welcome again to Making Music Lesson 3. Okay, again today it's a uh, it is Friday, 11th of July 2008. I want to continue to build on where we left off from lesson 2 where we were talking about uh, whole steps, whole steps, half steps or tone, tone, semitone. Just to recap, a whole step is made up of two halves. Okay? And we selected from this alphabetical arrangement on a keyboard or a piano. We chose at random to give examples of moving from, say, a D, a whole step from a D will take you one, two, to the E, using the two halves of a whole step. So to further build on that, there is a reason why we're doing this. Uh, and it's the very basis of uh, what what is known as the major scale. This pattern of tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone never changes. So once you know it, that's it. We just select using this pattern going from uh, any letter A, B, C, D, E, F and G to the next one. For example from A to the next A or from D to the next D and again from F to the next F okay I've brought over here on the left hand side uh, just a repeat of what we've got here A, B, C, D, E, F and G A, B, C, D, E, F, G the one I want to select to show you this pattern is this C there's a reason why I want to show the C that will be explained later when we start talking about landing on these black notes but when we apply this pattern starting from this C or any C we're going to go from a C to another C going through the tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone to land on this next C in so doing we're going to cross some of these blacks but what matters is where we start and where we land. Where we land is very important when we're using these two half steps here. So I've put an arrow here showing C to C and I've wrote it out here. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. When we go from a letter and we get to where it repeats again on a piano or a guitar later on we write the C in here and we put a bracket round it now we actually I've wrote a line in here so we've come from this C to the next C and when we get to the next C inclusive we call it an octave so from C D E F G A B C octave now this tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone can be abbreviated as I showed previously tone tone semitone Tone, 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 with these T, T, S, T, 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 S, T. And I've wrote it here in black. Tone, tone, semitone. Tone, 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 semitone. Now, to where a whole tone here is made up of two halves, if you look above the T here, this is like the two halves, these little notches I've represented. So a tone has two lot. This next tone has two. But the semitone, same as this, only has one, and I've done that in black. And the next one is a tone lot, one there, one there. Next one, half and half up, another one. And the last one, we finish with the semitone, just the one. So, we could start from A and go to the next A. But I don't want to do that, because I need to explain something later on the concept of sharps or flats and usually when you start talking about sharps and flats it puts people off but I want to explain it but in a more simplified manner that shows you what this, these black notes are all about we'll leave that till we start going on to these other ones A to A, B to B, D to D, 
E to E, F to F and G to G using that pattern of tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone here. So let's start from the C. Let's do the first one. Here, tone. So we start one, two. That's a tone. So we land on the D. Next one here. Another tone. One, two. That's another tone, okay? So we've gone tone, tone. Our next one is a semitone. So we've gone tone, tone, and you go semitone. The next one, tone, 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 semitone. So what we've, we've just gone through this pattern. We start there, we land there. To here, we land there. Semitone. Tone. 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 Semitone. Let's do it again. Tone. Tone. Semitone. Tone. 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 Semitone. Now, you'll notice that when we go from a C to a C, we always land on the white keys of a piano. We don't land on any blacks like tone, we've landed on the D, tone, we've landed on the E, semitone, we've landed on the F, tone, we've landed on the G, tone, tone, and semitone. So we just landed on the white keys, A, B, C, through the whole pattern of this. I've brought over here this pattern of steps, half steps, or tone, tone, semitone, is also known, or is known as, the major scale. There's a frightening word, scale. It always puts people off. You've just done a scale. You've just done the C major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're back to another C. You may, you'll be, if you do from C to C, you'll be familiar with this because you've also got, just bear with me. Do, you might know this, Do, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, and then back to the Do. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Okay, from uh, The Sound of Music. All right, yeah. The film sound of music. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. That corresponds with. If you, if you go on a piano and go from C to C, go do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And you can, if you can go any higher than that, go from that C to the next C. I can't do that high. And go lower. So we've shown the basic concept of the major scale, and in this case, it's the C major scale. From C to C. You count them, they've got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. In the next lesson, I want to start showing how we go from A, sorry, it's in green, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But what I might do, I might do the G. We'll do the G next. So if we go to a G, we start back again. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it just keeps repeating. As you can see, like G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So we've got G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 